This is a North Carolina license online account setup instruction. The short video presentation that follows demonstrates how to set up an online account using the North Carolina Identity Management Service, NCID. After the pyrotechnic license holder, operator assistant, or their employer has an NCID username and password, they can update their contact information, renew a license, apply for different type or level license, pay application exam and license fees online, and in the future access online education and training courses for CE credit. The online account allows users and licensees to upload current photographs, uh, driver's license information, and other documents that are required to renew a license. From your Windows login screen, select a browser such as Internet Explorer. Access the DOI Pyrotechnic license page. On the left hand menu, click the online login Pyrotechnic license apply renew tab. North Carolina Identity Management System screen is linked to this page for the pyrotechnic licensee or applicant. In this case, a user ID and password has been populated on the screen because I already have an account. If you do not have an account, these two boxes will be blank. To register for a new NCID account, see the blue bar and click register below. You will set up an individual account. That's the default in the drop down list. New user registration, click the submit key, and then a screen appears where you fill in the requested information. A requested user ID, which is required by the asterisk is what the user ID is you want to use to log in. And you can put your name or a combination of letters, something you'll remember. Please write all this information down. Your prefix, Mr. Mrs. First name, middle initial, last name, and a suffix such as junior, senior, the third, etc. An email address will be required. If you do not have an email address, set up one before logging into the system or attempting to set up an NCID account. You must have an email address. The email address must be typed in a second time to confirm it, and then a password must be entered. You'll notice some instructions for a password. Please read the restrictions on what type of entries will be good for password and write your password down. Below that there's a photograph of some house numbers and that ensures that you're an actual person logging in. Once you create your individual account you will receive an email that requires you to register and confirm your account status. There are also challenge questions at the bottom of the screen and this is just an example to fill these in the name of your first pet, your grandmother's maiden name. If you're unfamiliar with this process put in a short answer and write these down as well as these are the challenge questions you'll be presented with if you forget your password uh, as an alternate method of recovering your password and logging in again. If you create this application, there's a bottom button, create account, and that will set up your new account in NCID. Once you have your NCID login, return to the OSFM and Pyrotechnic License Information screen, online login, 
menu item enter in your user ID and password that you have created at NCID and press the login button this will take you to the online database for pyrotechnic licensees this screen is the home page and this is what you'll see once you've created your account if you are either trying to apply for a license or you have one if you have want to put in a new application you would select from the drop down here because I had already been in the process of applying for an operator's license only a 1.3 G assistant shows up there is no operator option I did not complete the process but you can see there's a profile button tab across the top where you put in your contact information driver's license email address and you can select your business affiliation we are cleaning up the employer names so that there's only one entry for each employer some of these still have duplicates here we're going to be updating the database but the larger firms have already been fixed and so you should be able to find your company's name in this list and you simply select the company name and then that will populate the information that's all under the profile page and then click save once you've got that information in there and you'll see a note that the update was successful the next versions of the database upgrades will include your photos on the home page that's going to be an upgrade that's going to roll out soon there's currently no education information in there that will come with the next update the applications tab shows which applications you may have in process and haven't completed yet these screens are also being updated but they provide an interface for you to answer the questions that you would have answered on the paper application out-of-state license information ATF qualifications information a place to put in upload items scan and upload your documents you can browse and you can put the attachment type such as the photocopy of state license or your photograph that's required within six months this information you can put directly into the database and you don't have to mail it and this page here applications will show the list of documents you've already submitted when you get to the conclusion of your application or your renewal you'll see a checklist green check marks will show that you've completed those items will be red check marks will show they still have to be uploaded and there's two statements at the bottom before you can proceed and make a payment uh, a statement that you certify all information is correct and that you agree to pay the fees and once you've completed all those at the bottom of this screen there's a third party payment provider paypoint and there's two buttons one is submit application without a payment or submit an application with a payment if you click without payment it means you're planning to mail in a check and your application for renewal or a new license will be approved once the payment is received otherwise pick submit application with payment and you'll proceed to the place where you can put on your credit card information after that the uh, final tab that you'll see will show in my case there's no payment history but you will see all the payments that are ever been associated with your license uh, and if there's any payments required or pending this screen will also be able to be accessed by your employers and in cases where employers want to pay for several licensees 
that list of employees will be presented to them and the employer will be able to make the payments online. If you want to get out of this screen, you simply go up to the upper right hand side and click log out. 